Hey guys, G54023 coming at you with another gun review. I got a Smith & Wesson this time. This is a Smith & Wesson 22A alloy frame. Uh, it's a 22 long rifle, target pistol. Uh, you get two magazines, two stainless magazines. It's very nice, which you can see is unloaded. Safety checked. Well, let's get to it. The Smith & Wesson 22A uh, comes in a lot of varieties. Uh, you can get this thing in a lot of different finishes. You can get this thing in stainless, uh, camo, uh, primarily a 22 target pistol. It's got a nice thick bull barrel on it. Nice and hefty in the front. Reduced recoil, which 22 doesn't really have any anyway, but you can really stay on target with that with that weight. And it's not overly heavy. It's not so heavy that you can't pack it around. It's very nice. This alloy frame is extremely light. You have these plastic uh, grips that go all the way around, kind of rubberized on the front and back. Uh, these screws do kind of tend to get a little loose, which you can see right there. But if you know, if you take it down and clean it, just tighten those screws up, you'll be fine. Uh, you do have a thumb safe, some thumb safety, excuse me. When you can't hardly see the red dot, you're on safe. Flip that down, and the red you're dead. Have a slide lock right here, which the slide is only up, you know, on the rear portion of the gun. Uh, the slide does lack lack lock back on the last shot so you know when you're out you got to reload the magazine release is ambidextrous so you can be shooting and even if you grip this gun really hard it's kind of recessed back in there so you're not going to accidentally actuate that magazine release so you can just pop your middle finger down there and they do fall free very easy to load very good magazines these are awesome uh, you have your rail mount there where you can mount optics or red dots or whatever you want on there the front sight is fixed on there but you have your elevation and winded adjustment on your rear sight which is nice for a target pistol so you can zero that sucker in and uh, it breaks down fairly easy you lock your slide back take your magazine out of course make sure it's empty and your takedown button is right here you grasp your barrel here and push in and lift up and off and make sure you don't bend this little hook right here it's just a little thin piece of metal and it's very easily bent so don't bend that and there's your locking lug there and then you can get to your barrel and your breech and all that and you can see your your guide rod here and you can hold on to your slide release it and just let it forward and then you have you know all your stuff in the frame and there's your back piece and your guide rod and your recoil spring and your slide and firing pin assembly which I've put thousands upon thousands around through this gun and it is running flawless the only problems that I've had with this thing is ammo related it's never jammed never hiccuped once unless you know, you're shooting the Federal or Remington bulk stuff from Walmart you know, CCI's have ran flawless through this thing and uh, like I said it's, it's only been ammo related if, if you get failures to fire and stuff like that so any any other types of malfunctions or anything I have not experienced with this gun it has been phenomenal to put this thing back together put your slide in the forward position on the frame and make sure your 
back plate stays on there and your recoil spring goes into this little groove here and push your guide rod in there and there's a little indentation in the back of this ramp here that your guide rod fits in keep this held down pull it back and lock it again so that it keeps that spring and guide rod all in there and then take your little hook and hook it on the back of this little hook here but don't bend it put it down push your button back in and it should fall right in and if you have it in there right it should lock in there just like that and that should poke out and almost be flush with the frame not quite but almost if you don't have this all the way underneath that hook it will not come back out so let's do a function check looks good magazine in all right that locks back and safety's on doesn't fire this thing does have a magazine disconnect so if the magazine's not in the gun it will not fire I'll just show you magazines in it again unloaded I always want to make sure okay good and we'll dry fire this thing I don't like dry firing it a whole lot but okay and make sure the magazine disconnect works there you go anytime you take a gun apart make sure all the safeties and everything that's supposed to work works especially after you've taken it apart but uh, overall phenomenal gun guys the magazines hold 10 rounds which is pretty standard on any kind of target pistol you know Ruger's have the same thing uh, pretty much any 22 pistol that you get is going to hold you know full size 22 is going to hold around 10 rounds but uh, as far as price, you can pick these up now for around 250, 280 bucks, just depending on what finish you get, where you look, you know, all that good stuff. I actually got this a long, well, not a real long time ago, but uh, it's been five plus years, and I picked it up for 199 dollars. I think it was 100 or 220 something out the door, but that's been a long time ago. Gun prices went way up but like I said it depends on the finish and what model you get they do range for all the way from 250 all the way up to around $400 I think just depending on the finish model and whatnot and this is the five and three quarter or five and a half inch barrel I believe you can get a shorter barrel lengths also just look around at your favorite gun shop or online I'm sure you'll be able to find one they're pretty common but uh, that's my review of the Smith & Wesson 22A Great 22 Plinker. Thanks, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free, and be safe. Thanks.